what's up y'all <laughs> it's your girl ariel with the family dream back again with another banger look banger banger <laughs> back again with another banger so guys if you haven't already subscribed to the channel definitely subscribe right now while we're talking about it and hit the thumbs up let's also try to get this video to at least 28 likes i feel like 28 is like one of those numbers where we can do that so let's try to get this video to at least 28 likes so y'all are probably like what are you doing um this is like a little mukbang slash story time run your mouth gossip kind of thing um i'm having some rice and some chicken salad and y'all i gotta get straight into this damn video because this is apple juice don't get crazy it's a tuesday night don't get crazy okay so i got some chicken salad and stuff and some rice but y'all i needed to do this video because dudes be tripping so this is like a little story time okay dudes be tripping like what's wrong with y'all dudes these days so as y'all know i am a single mom so that means that i'm on the scene the dating scene but in a real quiet subtle kind of way okay i'm not looking but i'm not like closed off to dating so guys i'm also not against meeting somebody on social media because it's 2019 you can meet anybody you can meet the love of your life on social media christian mingle black planet whatever floats your boat farmers dot farmers meetup dot com whatever sis like there's a freaking website an app a something for you so i'm not against it so this guy he hit me up on facebook and he was like, oh, can I get your number? He was like, I've been your, fr your friend on Facebook for a minute, and I always had a crush on you. Can I get your number? So I looked through his pictures first, right? <laughs> I looked through his pictures because I'm like, let me see how he look first. <laughs> now, guys, I have my bonnet on because I'm about to go to sleep. But I had to tell this story before I go to sleep. <laughs> so he like, um, yeah, so I've been having a crush on you. Can I get your number? So I looked through his profile. And he was alright. He was cute. And if you watch this, you're a dirtbag. Okay? Like, but anyway. So he was cute. So I'm like, alright. So I gave him my number. We was texting for like two days, right? Texting. So then... On, like, the third day, he was, like, call me on FaceTime. So, I'm, like, all right, cool. So, I called him on FaceTime. His conversation was so boring. Like, I don't even know why I'm calling the conversation because he did not have no type of conversation. Like, I hate when you talk to guys and they can't, like, spark up a good conversation to get it flowing. Like, a little dialogue, a little back and forth, a little give and take. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's talk about something. So he ain't have nothing to talk about on FaceTime. So I immediately told him I was going to call him back. And usually if I tell you I'm going to call you back, I'm not going to call you back. So that was that day. So we kept on texting or whatever. So, yeah. This is what he said that pissed me off. So three days of talking. So the fourth day, he um he texts me normally. We talk him. And so then he like, um, I'm going to call you when I um get home from work on FaceTime. So I'm like, okay, cool. Y'all, do a drum roll, a, a, a suspense noise, something. You do not believe me. So he, so he calls me on FaceTime. In the shower. What kind of bullshit? in the damn shower touching himself y'all this is not i'm not lying to you like i'm serious i'm not even trying to do this 
for likes or laughs or anything like he was literally on facetime touching himself in the shower so i'm looking at the phone like like damn no because i didn't know if i wanted to look away or if i wanted to look or if this was inappropriate or if it was what i wanted <laughs> So I'm looking like, you serious? So somehow, you know, when you're on FaceTime, the phone starts reconnecting. I guess what was happening was making it buffer. So it's reconnecting, reconnecting, reconnecting. Then he comes back. And I'm looking at the camera like, and y'all, he is just uh, touching himself in the shower. I wasn't feeling that. So, I was not fucking feeling it. I had to say a curse. Because are you freaking kidding me? Like, dudes out there in the virtual world, for future reference, do not do anything sexual. If I ain't throwing those sexual vibes to you that that's what I'm on, don't try to throw that to me and try to force me into it. Like, you don't even know me. You just got my number on Facebook. Okay, like you're gross. Like so. Anyway, I just can't. So I hung up on him. I wrote him a message. I blocked him on my iPhone. I wrote him a message on Messenger on Facebook, and I said, "What you was? What you got going on? We are looking for two different things. So don't be alarmed. I did block you, but I wish you the best in life. He gonna send me." Let me take a sip. He gonna send me the strong arm emoji. This nigga gonna block me on Facebook. How you go? How you gonna block me? First of all, how you gonna block me on Facebook? I already blocked you on my phone. But how are you gonna block me on Facebook when you're the one touching yourself? That's not cute. I'm a single mom. That ain't what I'm looking for. I ain't looking to jump in bed with nobody, okay? Clearly, I know what that's like. Uh, 10 months later, my baby's 10 months, okay? I don't feel like jumping in bed with nobody. You nasty, okay? You're a nasty, perverted little man. And you know you was wrong for that. And if that's how you be approaching women... Ew. Okay. <laughs> so, then, look, I went in for the kill again. And this other guy messaged me on Facebook like, oh, let me get your number. So, I said, here we go again. We could keep writing on um, Messenger. So, because I didn't feel like giving him my number no more. Because I'm like, giving people your number is like a thirst trap. So, we writing on Messenger. And he said, how was your day? So I'm like, it was fine. I'm tired. Guess what he says, sis? He like, I could give you a massage. Red flag. Like, here goes another freaking pervert. A massage? You just met me? You just asked me? Can you get your, get my number on Facebook? And I said no. And I agreed to talk to you on Messenger. So just because I said I'm tired, that means you need to respond with you're going to give me a massage. So then I gave him a piece of my mind. I'm like, dude, how dare you say you'll give me a massage? I didn't say how dare, but I'm like, dude, why are you saying you'll give me a massage? Like, all I said was I was tired. He going to say, why are you being so dramatic? You act like I asked you to send a, a picture of your vagina. You mind as well. I mean, damn. You mind as well. I'm being dramatic because I don't want you to say you to offer to give me a massage just because you asked me how my day was and I said I'm tired. Nigga, I don't know you. You ain't gonna see my body no time soon to be able to give me no massage. <sighs> 
I'm just over it. Like, dating in 2019, what do you do? Where do you start? How do you do it? How do you go about it? Because I'm confused. Like, I'm 27. I'm not into what I used to be into no more. Like, comment down below if you see this and you make it to this part of the video and you feel me. Like, I'm not saying that I didn't used to be a freak of nature and that I didn't used to like freaky shit and that I didn't used to like a a, a D pick or two. Or, 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 you know, a little rendezvous. I ain't innocent, clearly. But I mean, it's a new day. You can't be doing the same thing you was doing three years ago. So, moral of the story is, You should be found. Don't go looking. <laughs> but if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up on this video. Let me know if these ninjas be tripping in your inbox too. If they be sliding in your DM saying all kind of crazy nasty stuff. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.